Ready? All right, let's go. Hi, I'm Massimo Bustamanali, the founder and creative director of Buster and Punch, and welcome to Dimmers for Dummies. This might just be the most boring video you've ever watched. This is fucking long. But if you're planning a home renovation or swapping out your old switches for new ones, stick around and let's learn some stuff. We'll start with the basics and then we'll go a little bit deeper for those of you that are in the trade. Our switches and dimmers are modular in design, and your switch dimmer outlet will come in three separate boxes. So box one will have your solid metal wall plate in it and all the infills you need. Box two has the module in it, which is basically the functioning tech piece. And that's anything from a dimmer module, a toggle module, an outlet module, we have USB modules. We have lots of different options depending on what you want to control. And then we have box three, the final box, which is basically the most fun one and that will have your solid metal decorative detail kit in it, which can either be a dimmer knob with coin screws, a toggle arm with coin screws, or just the coin screws which we use for outlet plates. And then also inside the box, you will find a plastic tool, and I urge you to use that when screwing in your coin screws, as it will avoid being scratched. Swapping out the detail kits will allow you to customize your switch and explore mixing metals, mixing finishes, and even mixing looks. You can buy the detail kits separately to fit our entire range of switches and sockets. So when you combine your wall plate with your module and finally your detail kit, you're gonna get your beautiful, complete switch or socket. We're adding new looks to our detail kits over time, more specifically linear and cast, but for now they come in our signature cross nail. It might seem odd to get a light switch in three boxes, but there is some method to our madness and why we designed them this way. One of the main reasons is that it lets you adapt to life in the future. So maybe further down the road, you want a dimmer where there was once a toggle. All you need to do is change the module and you can keep the original plate and detail kit. Or maybe you want to install some smart modules. Again, all you need to do is change the module rather than ripping out a complete light switch. It also makes our switches and dimmers customizable in how they look. So if your tastes change in the future, all you need to do is swap out the detail kit and you can have a completely new look or new finish to your light switch. Future-proofed, customizable, and more sustainable. Buster and Punch wall plates and detail kits come in our five signature solid metal finishes. We've got white metal, stainless steel, brass, smoke bronze, and black metal. Our wall plates are available with or without logo, depending on your taste. And our detail kits open up a whole world of possibilities when it comes to customization and mixing and matching your metals. You can create some beautiful finishes like steel and brass, or even black and steel. It's worth noting that these are the same finishes as our lighting, hardware, furniture, and interior accessories so you can create a seamless look throughout your home. Buster and Punch dimmers, switches and GPOs are available for the EU, the UK, North America including Canada, Australia and New Zealand. So when you jump onto our website and have your country selected, you'll only see the switches, dimmers and outlets that are fully certified and approved for where you are. North American wall plates come in one gang, two gang, three gang, and four gang. And sometimes that's shortened to G. So 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G. So for all the dummies out there, what that means is on a one gang plate, you can fit one module, two gang plate, two modules, three gang, three modules, and four gang, you guessed it, four modules. So the real beauty of this system is that it's fully modular and you can create the perfect custom light switch for your needs. So you can have a toggle next to dimmers, next to outlets, and you can order in whatever way suits you. It's worth mentioning our switches and outlets fit standard junction boxes, which makes it super easy for you to swap out the old and fit the new with zero hassle. The tip I give people wanting to do this, go around your home, take photos of all your light switches, go online and then just simply shop like for like. So a toggle for a toggle, but it's also a really good time to upgrade the function of your switches. So where you once had a standard on off switch and you now want a dimmer, this is the time to do it. Make sense?
Words like intermediate, retractive, momentary, and even dummy crop up quite a lot when you're buying this type of gear. And I understand that this can be really confusing sometimes. So I'm gonna try and take you through some standard terms that you might see out there. Standard toggle. This is a regular on off light switch as you know it. These turn your lights on and off. These generally work with all light bulbs. Standard dimmer. This can only be used with dimmable light bulbs and can turn your bulbs on or off and then dim them from a low light level to a bright light level. <sighs> Intermediate toggle. These work in exactly the same way as a standard on off light switch, but you're gonna need these if you wanna operate a lighting circuit from more than two places, which is usually a stairwell. Retractive or momentary. This is basically a toggle switch with a spring in it. So you need to push and hold to create an action. It will always return back to its starting position when you let go. Retractive switches can only be used in conjunction with our retractive dimmer modules or with third party smart modules. And once installed, you can turn your lights on and off and you can also dim them. I know this one's really confusing. I'll explain a little bit more later. Multi-point or retractive dimmer. These work alongside our retractive switches and they allow you to control and dim your lights from not just the dimmer, but also from the retractive switches. And finally, smart modules. Our retractive switches work with smart modules, but we do recommend checking compatibility with your electrician beforehand. Is that right? Good. Next. Bustroom Punch has its own range of light bulbs for all of our different lights, including our groundbreaking LED buster bulbs. Our light bulbs come in either non-dimmable or dimmable versions, and as I said earlier, make sure if you want to dim your lights, you use dimmable light bulbs. We also recommend using Bustroom Punch light bulbs with Bustroom Punch dimmers and controls for the best possible compatibility. So we've looked how they fit together, covered a bit of technical terminology, and now it's time for the good stuff. Dimmers and toggles in their natural habitat. So this is a setup most of us have in our living rooms. We've got a lighting circuit, which is controlled from one location. You can either have a toggle switch or a dimmer switch from that location. Now, if the same lighting circuit is controlled from two locations, you can only have one dimmer switch on that circuit. So usually people will have a dimmer switch at one end and then a toggle switch at the other. Now my pro tip here is that I always put the toggle switch by the door because that's where you're gonna wanna turn your lights on and off really quickly. And then I'll have the dimmer switch by a sofa, a chair or a bed, because that's where you're gonna to wanna to control your lights. So if you're using a standard toggle switch, that will turn your lighting circuit off and on. And with our standard dimmer switch, if you push the knob in, it will turn your lights off with a lovely soft fade. And then when you press the dimmer knob in again, it will turn your lights back on. And also remember the lighting level you had before. And then to control the lighting level in your room, you simply rotate the dimmer knob. This is our intermediate setup. Lots of people ask me, when would I need an intermediate switch or a four-way switch as they call them in the States? And this is it. It's usually a larger room. I know this is a tiny box or more commonly a staircase. And you'll need an intermediate switch if you want to control your lights from three or more locations. So here we have a standard toggle switch, a standard dimmer module, and at the back here, we've got our new intermediate switch, which allows me to turn my lights off and on from three or more locations. So let's get retractive. The more traditional setups that I was showing you earlier will only allow you to dim from one location. If you want to dim from more than one location, then you're going to need to install one of our new retractive or multi-point dimmers. And that will allow you to attach up to 10 retractive toggles to that new retractive dimmer. And you can dim from all those locations. So now in our setup, we've got a retractive dimmer here and I've installed two new retractive toggles here. 
And I can also dim from all locations by holding a retractive toggle down with a long press. And you can let go of the toggle arm when your lights are at the perfect level. And one more thing to mention when we're talking about retractive switches is that your electrician can wire them in to control your blinds. Right, let's talk about smart. Most people would love a smart system in their home, but they're put off by the fact that smart light switches are a little bit plasticky and crap. But fear not, because usually you can fit a third party smart module, which is like a little plastic thing, behind our beautiful retractive switches. And you can have the best of both worlds, because you can control your lights from the retractive switch itself, and you can also control them from your smartphone. And whilst I've got you guys in this scale model of my studio flat in London, I've got some exciting news. Buster and Punch Smart is in the pipeline. What if my LED dimmers are flickering or buzzing? Firstly, you need to make sure you're using dimmable light bulbs with our dimmers. Then you need to count the total light bulb wattage on your lighting circuit and ensure it's within the limits of the dimmer that you're using. These limits can be found in our tech specs. Do I need to worry about overheating or other safety issues? Firstly, all of our dimmers and switches are fully safety certified and approved for use in your country. They come with a range of safety features, including thermal cutout, self-reset, and short circuit protection to give you real peace of mind. Will a solid metal light switch give me an electric shock? The short answer is no. Safety is absolutely huge for us, and all of our metal components and plates are fully insulated. Our metal parts will never be exposed to an electric current. Do your switches work with Dali and Kernex systems? Our retractive switches and toggles can be integrated into those systems. Your automation system installer or system integrator should be able to guide you on how to use our toggles as inputs into these systems. What's the ELV compatibility of your dimmers? Our new LED dimmer is ELV compatible but you do need to ensure that it's in the correct leading or trailing edge mode. And then you can also adjust the minimum dimming setting to make sure the compatibility works better. What's the max wattage I can use on a circuit? To get the total wattage that's going through your dimmer, you need to add all the wattage of all the light bulbs on that lighting circuit. We have different dimmers for different lamp loads and different lamp types so that you get the best experience for your space. But as a rule of thumb, it's 250 watt for LED bulbs and about 300 watt for incandescent. What's the dimming range? That's actually a really good question. I don't know this one. Is Ian around? Anyone seen Ian? Oh, bloody hell. Here he is, the yin to my yang. Ian is our chief product developer here at Buster and Punch. Can you answer this question for the kind people at home? What is the dimming range? Very good. Brilliant, nice. Are our dimmers suitable for 0 to 10 volt circuits? No. Brilliant. I will add to that that we're working on new dimmer modules and other modules all the time. Are BMP dimmers universal, leading or trailing edge? So this all depends on which BMP dimmer you choose. The instruction manuals for our dimmers will help guide you into how you change the modes. And if you need further assistance, we always say, ask your electrician. What 12 volt transformers are recommended with BMP dimmers and switches? Mains dimmable or phase cut transformers will work with our dimmers and switches. We've designed them to be used with a wide range of loads from iron core transformers all the way through to 12 and 24 volt drivers and many more. What's the difference between a buster and punch switch and the basic ones you find at a hardware store? Well, firstly, our light switches are more expensive than those that you find in a hardware store. But the reason for that is that we've poured so much love, passion and effort into the design and the craft of these switches. Before Buster and Punch, you could only find the plastic one in hardware stores. We were the first brand to bring cross knurling into interiors and that features heavily on our light switches and dimmers. The beautiful dimmer knobs and toggle arms have a solid metal machined cross knurl, which basically feels amazing underhand and it also looks beautiful. So when you buy a Buster and Punch switch, it is truly an original switch. As an architect, I always told my clients that these little details like switches and dimmers are the most important parts of your home. You usually only put them in your walls once. So it's really important you get this bit just right as you'll be touching them every day. And now for the boring but really important disclaimer part. I'm gonna to have to read off the teleprompter for this. 
We strongly recommend that you consult with a qualified electrician for anything related to electricity in your home. Your safety is priority number one. In some cases, not having a certified electrician install your wiring and switches can make your home insurance void. It's in your best interests. That's what we're saying. And if you've got any questions about our products, our warranties, our delivery, please get in contact with us.